There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground, and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know, and his name is Roly Mo. Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> hmm. We got measured today in school. I wasn't the biggest mole in my class, but I wasn't the smallest either. <laughs> I think Floppy was the smallest mole in the class. Ready? Then off we go. <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just tidying up. <laughs> oh. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that I'm tidying up. Everything's a bit messy today. <laughs> I can reach that for you, Uncle Roly. I'm big enough. Oh, so you are, little Bo. <laughs> there. But I'm not as big as you are, Uncle Roly. <laughs> no, not yet. Are you the biggest mole in Fimble Valley, Uncle Roly? Um, no, I'm not. Your mum is just a little bit bigger than me. You go! Me go! We go! And me go! Let's a go go! <laughs> hey, Migo! <laughs> I should go first. I'm the biggest. No, you're not! I'm bigger than you! No, you're not. Yes, I am! I'm not! I'm! Toot toot, you snoots! Toot toot! Little bow. I'm. I'm not. I'm so. With snooters on. You could look at it another way. How's that? Well, you're big, Migo. Yes, I am. And you go. You're bigger. Oh. <laughs> and I'm the biggest. Eh? Hey? Let's look in my busy book and I'll show you. Busy book, busy book. Let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Fimbo. What are we going to do today, Fimbo? There's a red ball and a yellow ball. Which one is bigger? Is it the red ball or the yellow ball? The yellow ball is bigger. Well done. A purple ball and an orange ball. Which one is bigger? The purple ball or the orange ball? It's the orange ball. The orange ball is bigger. A pink ball? A blue ball? Which one is bigger? The pink ball or the blue ball? It's the blue ball. The blue ball is bigger. How many balls are there? One, two, three. Small, middle-sized and big. This one is the biggest. Thank you, Fimbo. See you again soon. Yes, but I am still the biggest. No, you're not! Yes, I am. Not! Um. Uncle Roly, please can you measure us? Of course I can. Measure ups? Yes, measure. Look, it's easy. You stand here like this. And I put a mark here, like this. <laughs> and then you can really see how big you are. Oh, oh, me next. Please, itty, please. Oh, come on then, you go. You next. <laughs> ah, 
There we go. One Yugo mark. That's a very good Yugo mark, Rowley. Thank you, Yugo. Your turn now, Migo. <laughs> there we go. One Migo mark. <gasps> look, look, look at you, look! What is it, Migo? I'm the bigliest! Yes, it is! Yes, I am the bigliest! Ahem, <laughs> uh, uh, Migo? Yes, how can I help you, Rowley? Uh, that's a little bow's mark. See, it's uh, pink. Oh, then that must be my Migo mark! <laughs> Um, uh, no, that's a Yugo mark. <laughs> oh, then this one my Migo mark? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a very teeny-eeny Migo mark. But do you know what, Migo? What? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? No, it doesn't matter at all. Oh. Doesn't matter if you're big. Doesn't matter if you're small. And even if you're in between. Doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter if peas always make you sneeze. Or if you think you've got really knobbly knees. Doesn't matter if you can't jump high up in the air. Or if you're covered in orange and yellow hair. Doesn't matter if you're blue, pink, purple or green. Or any other colour that's in between. Doesn't matter if you're stripy from your head down to your toes. Or if you have a snooter instead of a nose. Snoot, snoot! Everyone is different, so we won't stand and stare. Everyone is different, and we really don't care. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're big. Doesn't matter if you're small. And even if you're in between. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. See? Doesn't matter. No, you're right, Hugo. Doesn't matter. Oh. oh but I'm still bigger than you. Uh. But look, Migo, you are bigger than Floppy. Oh, yes. I am bigger than Floppy. And you are bigger than Bibby. Oh, you... Where... Where is Bibby? I'm sure I left her in here. You did. Now, let me see. I was tidying up and... Where did I put Bibby? <gasps> Where's Bibi? Oh, there she is! Oh, that's where I put Bibi. I'll get her for you. Oh, just as well you're big, you go. <laughs> oh, now, where did I put Snudge? Uh, there he is. I'll get him for you. Oh, thanks, Miko. Just as well you're small. Oh, well done, you snoots. And now I think it's time for a story. I'll be back in a roly mo. Story time with Roly Mo. Our, Our favourite time, time of day. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now, what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A Big, small story, if you please. Ah, thank you. Now then, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes! Good. Then I'll begin. Hmm. 
Sunil the tiger cub was playing his favourite game, Bounce. He was bouncing the ball as high as he could when suddenly... Boing! Oh dear, said Sunil. How am I going to get my ball back? Just then Sunil looked up and saw a pair of long legs. He couldn't see who it was because they were so tall. He looked higher and saw a long spotted neck. He looked higher still and saw it was Ginny the giraffe. The tallest animal Sunil had ever seen. Hello, called Sunil. Far above him, Ginny thought she heard something. Ginny bent her long neck down and down until there was Sunil. Ginny chuckled. Hello down there. Aren't you small? And I'm so tall. Look how I have to bend my neck just to look at you. Just then, there was a clunk. Ginny tried to bend down further to get her glasses, but she couldn't quite reach. Quick as a flash, Sunil picked them up and popped them back on her nose. Oh, thank you, Sunil, giggled Ginny. Oh, that tickles. Maybe you could help me now, said Sunil, and he pointed up into the tree. Ginny reached up and up with her long neck and rescued the ball. Thank you, said Sunil. Now I can play bounce again. Ginny gasped. Bounce? Why, that's my favourite game. Can I play too? So they did. And when the ball rolled off somewhere low, Sunil could fetch it. And whenever it bounced high, Ginny could reach it. There we go. Come on, let's measure our cuddlies. Mm. Now, let me see. One. Two. Three. There we go. Look at that. Big. Bigger. Biggest. Hooray! <laughs> Doesn't matter if peas always make you sneeze Or if you think you've got really knobbly knees Doesn't matter if you can't jump high up in the air Or if you're covered in orange and yellow hair Doesn't matter if you're blue, pink, purple or green Or any other colour that's in between Doesn't matter if you're stripy from your head down to your toes Or if you have a snow Instead of a nose, snoot, snoot. Everyone is different, so we won't stand and stare. Everyone is different, and we really don't care. Doesn't matter if you're big. Doesn't matter if you're small. And even if you're in between. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Haven't we had fun today? Yes, yes it's, it's been, been a rolly molly day. Oh, you will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground and his name is Rolly Mo. Roly, 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 roly mo. He's the rolliest mo you'll ever know. And his name is Roly Mo. La 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 la. <laughs> Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> I've got a surprise for everyone today. It's here in my rucksack. Ready? Then off we go! <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? 
Migo and I are making a very special surprise today. A tea time surprise, Dee Pie. Hello, you two. Oh, oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that Migo's baking up a surprise for us today. Oh, yummity yum. And I've got a surprise too. Oh, have you? Oh, another surprise, Dee Pie. What is it? Tell me, please. Tell me, please, 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 little Bo. Tell me, please. No, you'll have to wait until later. Snootergator! <laughs> I'm going to go and find Hugo and tell him about all these surprises. <laughs> <laughs> you go? Little Bo! We, we go. go! Amigo! Let's a go go! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> oh, what's happening today, little Bo? Today is surprise day. Surprise day? Cooey! Yes, Roly and Migo are making a surprise for tea time, and I've made a surprise already. Oh, have you? Where is it? <laughs> it's in my rucksack. But you can't see it yet. Oh. It's a surprise. Tell you what, why don't we have a story while we're waiting for tea? Oh, yes, please, little Bo. Then I'll be back in a roly mo. <laughs> story time with little Bo, my favourite time of day. Look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Boo! Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? Take a look inside a book. Who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme. Just take the time to read along with me. Books over here. Books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. Ah, oh, we'd like a surprise story, please. Thank you. Mm. What's in the rucksack? What's in the rucksack? Here we are. I've got a surprise story for us to read. Hmm? Oh, um, great, little Bo. Aren't you coming to sit down for the story? Uh, no, I'll uh, just stand here next to the rucksack. Well then, are you standing comfortably? Oh, yes, I am, little Bo. Good. Then I'll begin. Jip and Jamila were playing skittles with their friend, the baby elephant. It's my birthday tomorrow, said baby elephant. My very first birthday, I'll be one. That night, Jip and Jamila decided to throw a party for the baby elephant. A surprise party. They told everybody about the surprise party. Except the baby elephant. Then they collected some special food. We need a hiding place for this food, said Chip, or it won't be a surprise. So they dug a hole and put a small rock over it to keep the party food safe from the rain and the sun and baby elephant. At last the birthday arrived. Happy birthday, said the monkeys. We've got a surprise for you. They took the baby elephant to the clearing and told him to shut his eyes. Surprise! shouted everybody. The baby elephant was so pleased. But Jip was looking worried. Where's the food? I can't see our hiding place. Look for the rock, whispered Jamila. But they couldn't see the rock anywhere. We've collected lots of food for the party, said Jip to baby elephant. But now we can't find it. Never mind, said Baby Elephant. It's a lovely surprise seeing everybody. 
It doesn't matter about the food. And he got up and gave them a big hug. Look, said Jamila. There's the rock. Baby Elephant was sitting on it. Now we can have the party food after all. And they all agreed that that was the best surprise of all. That was a good surprise, wasn't it? First they lost the food. <laughs> and then the clown found it. The clown? Yes, the clown. But there wasn't a clown in the story, Hugo. Oh, wasn't there? No! <laughs> Come on, Hugo. Let's sing a song together. Oh, OK. Let's sing. Best friend, you see. Huh. Come rain or shine, I'll be there all the time. Whatever the weather, we're always together. We'll always be friends right up to the end. Wherever you go, me go. Wherever you go, me go. What I do without you. If you went away, it would spoil my day. Yes, I'd really care if you weren't there. So wherever you go, we go. finished making his tea time surprise. Back in a roly mo. Oh, <laughs> bye, Bo. Come on, let's see if we can see the surprise. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I, oh, what's in little Bo's rucksack? Oh, I, can't see if I could just jump up and and, and, oh, and oh, oh, whoops, a lazy daisy. Look, little Bo's busy book. Maybe the surprise is in the busy book. Let's have a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a fimble? Who can you see? It's Baby Pom. What are we going to do today, Baby Pom? Oh, look! There's a shape! What shape is it going to be? It's a square! There's another shape! A triangle! What's that shape? That's a rectangle! And the rectangle looks like a door. What do you think it is? It's a house. And there are the windows and a chimney. We did it. What's next, Baby Pom? What is this one? It's a circle. And there's another circle. Hmm. wonder what the picture's going to be. They look like ears. It's a cat. Yes, it's a cat. We guessed it. We did the shape game together. Thank you, Baby Pom, for helping us. Bye-bye, Baby Pom. See you again soon. Hmm, no surprises there. Oh, no. It's little Bo. <laughs> Migo says his surprise won't take much longer. Oh, where's my rucksack gone? 
I thought I put it over here. Mm -hmm. Or was it over here? Mm -hmm. e excuse me, Hugo. Could you move over a bit? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. It fell over. Just as well my surprise didn't fall out. Oh, I really want to know what the surprise is. I've got to get little Bo to go out of the room again. Um, I think I can uh, mm, smell Migo's tea time surprise. Oh, yes. Tea must be ready by now. I'll go and see. <laughs> Hugo, tea's ready. <laughs> Did you say something, Hugo? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, I said fab. Oh, come on then. Let's go and find out what Migo's tea time surprise is. Oh, I mustn't forget my surprise. <gasps> the surprise. Is tea ready yet? Yes, we've just finished. Finished! Right. Let's get my surprise out of the rucksack. Would you like to see it, Uncle Roly? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Last chance to see the surprise. <laughs> There's nothing there. Now that is a surprise. Here's my surprise. I decorated this paper plate at school today. Ooh! Ooh. And very finely decorated it is, too. Here you are, Migo. Ooh! And this is my surprisey pie! Roly moly, that is a good surprise, Migo. <laughs> what is it? Carrot and banana! A surprisey pie! It's super scrumptious! A super scrumptious surprisey pie! Ooh, haven't we had a surprising day today? Yes! yes. It's, it's been, been a roly moly day. day! You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! Carrot and banana surprise is yummity. It's yummity scrummity. Well, that's the surprise. 